Hi, this is JavaScript script tutorial one. You can read the uh, um, more information on the web page. Okay, in this tutorial, we will co cover basic uh, in introduction to JavaScript. We will talk about variables, some basic control flows, and how to define a function. Um, so we we proceed by example. So we will write a simple number guessing game. So this, the game would start by, uh, the game would pick some number between uh, 1 to 100 and then it asks you something like this, round 1 and what's your guess? And then you answer, maybe you answer 70, it would say, uh, if it's correct then, then yeah, you're done. Otherwise it would give you hint, uh, like too high. You can, and then it keep asking for more, what's your guess? You may say um, 40, you say too low. Then round three, what's your guess? You may say um, 55 and say great, that's correct. So that's the basic game that we, we would write in, in JavaScript. All right, so um, before we start, writing or in in many times uh, when we want to write some program we, we just don't you know go ahead and, and write, write write the program right we we have to think a little bit about what what we have to do and since this is uh, a new language so you don't know many thing about it so um, if you think about the steps that you have to perform it might help you uh, figure out like what you have to learn to finally be able to write this program so so this what are the steps so basically uh, if you look at this output so the steps that you have to perform is like this uh, need to ask for the guess right? and then you need to compare and give hint the guess and give hint right and if you if if the uh, the guess is correct, then you're done. Otherwise, you have to do some loop, okay? And that's one first step, which is like random a number, right? So there are four steps to this. Uh, you need to be able to do these four things so that uh, you 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 can complete this uh, program, okay? So so we will start by. Uh, so so this is the main main part of our program okay so we we experiment with uh, javascript we will we will we'll give you how to do these steps and 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 show you the code soon okay now um to experiment with javascript you can either write the the javascript file program in into in in your own machine now but 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 let's do something simpler there's a website called uh, jsfiddle that you can write and run JavaScript on 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 the, the cloud maybe uh, online. So the, the the if you go to jsfiddle.net. So this is the URL. jsfiddle.net. You end up with a screen like this. And you can turn, uh, you can pull this thing out by using some keyboard sh shortcut. Now we, we're gonna work mainly in this uh, panel. So you you're gonna see four panels. So let me hide this first. You see these four panels: HTML, JavaScript, and th this is the result. So we we mainly work on JavaScript panel now. Uh, so I, I'll, I'll 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 throw the other part away. How can I do that? So make sure that we the JavaScript part is large. Okay, so that's uh, all right. Okay, all right. So this is the uh, this is the steps. Let's let's start by write, writing some JavaScript that probably is not going to run in in the first trial. So we need to run random a number and a number. So let's 
start by uh, how, how to use variables. So variables in, in JavaScript, so let's, let me write it first. Uh, um, uh, solution. So this is how, how you declare a variable. You use keyword var. And this is this is how this is the with keyword var you're gonna define local variables, but but this is like we, we don't have function but anyway. But just stick with us for with me for now. So the solution and then how can I get a solution? So I would do something like this random solution. So this is a function that I would figure out how to do that soon. But but the st our steps if you look at our steps here so let's try to write that in in javascript without knowing how to do so okay okay so then i ask for the guess guess um let's call it read guess the, this would uh as for the guest from the the user and then you need to compare the guest with the solutions how, how can you compare in javascript like in java you have the um various uh control for statement one of that is if so you can ask if uh guess is equal to solution okay if that's true then what should you do we should congratulate the user otherwise we we'll check if guess is less than solution so that's then you need to give hints right so give hint uh, to low and this this is a string okay you can define use a string with the single quote or, or double quote so if it is not too low and it is not correct then definitely it has to be give hint too high so that's our program but this this if you look at this this is like we we, we do that for for one round okay we ask question and, and, and give hint. so if you want to do this many times so you need to add some some loop okay so let's do this uh, that's do while loop Okay, so and then this is while uh, guess I keep doing if the guess is, is not equal to the solution okay then that's that's it that that's the main program for our JavaScript game um, you can run it now okay let's run it it's called run Okay, one, two, three, right. And then nothing happens uh, at all. Because, yeah, it, it's, you're not going to expect this to run, right? Because these are the something, some commands that we, we haven't tell JavaScript how to do. But the, these commands sort of like uh, explain what we want from the program, but we haven't write it, okay? Um, how 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 do I know that that's there's something wrong? Okay, so if you run it and you look at the console, if you use Firefox, then this is that web developer and, and go to uh, either web console here or browser console. Anything is good. Or if you have Firebug, that's good too. So let's look at that. If you look at web console, you can see this. There's some reference error. Random solution is not defined. If you use something else, if you use uh, Chrome and or IE or Safari, that's that's a place you can look at that. Um, in the note, in the online note, I'll I'll, show, I'll give you how. Okay, so we haven't defined this. Okay, so let's def 